This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. To find out how you can help kickstart our latest show live from Bay 6, visit our website and click on the Kickstarter icon. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris, and in this episode, I'm going to share my Tuscan bread soup with you. This is a really rustic soup made with a great tomato base, lots of vegetables, and these delicious croutons you put on top, bread that's cooked with pancetta and fresh basil. So I'm going to get my vegetables ready for the soup, and so I'm going to start by chopping up two onions. Now I have four carrots that I'm going to chop up, so I'm just going to cut them in half lengthwise and then in half again. So I have four nice long sticks like this. And then I'm just going to run my knife through them. I'm just going to move the carrot over to the onion. And now I'm going to slice up two fennel bulbs. And fennel is really a great vegetable. It's got a very, very um, light licorice flavor, not too strong at all, especially when you cook it. But for this dish, I'm not going to use the very end or the frond. So I'm just going to take that off. I'm going to cut the bulb in half. And then you cut it in half again. And then I'm just going to slice it real thin and it makes this really nice size piece that'll cook up great in this soup. And now on top of all the vegetables I'm going to go ahead and mince four cloves of garlic. Now I have my large soup pot on a medium high heat and I'm going to add just a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Get that nice and hot and then I'm going to start cooking my vegetables. So the carrots and the onions and the fennel and the garlic, they're all going to cook together for about 10 minutes just to start softening them. Now since this is a Tuscan bread soup, we're going to add bread to this soup as kind of its thickener, which is kind of interesting and it tastes great. So I have some more um, ciabatta bread. Um, you can use any kind of Italian or French bread that you have. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to rip it up into some small pieces. I want to end up with about three cups of torn bread. I'm going to put that in with the vegetables and I'm going to stir this around and let it cook um, for about five minutes. Then I'm going to add some diced tomatoes and I have two cans. These are each a 28 ounce can and they're a diced tomato in juice. So that's great. We're going to add the whole thing. And then I'm going to add a cup of a dry red wine. I'm using a Merlot, but you can use whatever you've got around. Then I'm going to add some chicken broth and I'm going to add eight cups of chicken broth. And then I have one cup of fresh torn basil leaves and I've packed that into my cup pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and add that in. Then I like to add a little salt and some fresh ground pepper to taste. I'm going to give this a nice big stir to add all those ingredients together and then I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up to high because I want to bring this mixture to boil. Once the soup comes to a boil, I'm going to turn the temperature down to low and I'm going to put the lid on but I'm only going to partially cover the pot and I'm going to let this cook for another 45 minutes. Now the topping for this soup is just so great and flavorful, you can't live without it. So what I do is I get one ciabatta or one French bread loaf and I'm going to go ahead and cut it into small cubes like I was making croutons in fact. I'm going to cut it in strips like this and then I'm going to gather them together and go ahead and cut them into some cubes. Now I use the crust and all. Now I'm going to take my cubed bread and I'm going to put it on a rimmed baking sheet like this and just kind of spread it out into a single layer. Now you can add more bread if you like. In fact, I look here and I like to have a full pan. So I'm actually going to add just a little bit more bread. 
So that's good. That's probably maybe, I don't know, about a loaf and a half of bread. Now I've got six ounces of sliced pancetta. And uh, all I do is I take my knife and I just run it through like this. I don't really want it to be in cubes and it really can't be because it's sliced, but I do just like to break up the slices just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my pancetta and I'm just gonna kind of break it up a little bit and I'm just gonna drop it all over the top of my bread. Now because this pancetta is sliced so thinly, it's gonna cook up really quick and it's just gonna give great flavor to this bread. Now I've got a lot of really great fresh basil. And um, I want to get about 24 of these leaves. And what I'm going to do is just put them in a pile here like this. And then I'm going to take them and I'm just going to tear them like in half and sprinkle it right on top of the bread and the pancetta. Now I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil. I'm just going to drizzle, oh, about a tablespoon or so, maybe two tablespoons, right on top. A little sprinkling of kosher salt and some black pepper. Now I'm just going to take my hands and toss all of this together just to kind of coat that oil a little bit on the bread. Now I've preheated my oven to 375 degrees and I'm going to put the pan in and I'm going to let this um, bread and the pancetta and the basil cook for about 20 minutes, but I am going to want to stir it about, oh, about seven or eight minutes just to kind of keep that bread moving. Now it's been about seven minutes, so I'm just going to go ahead and stir the bread up a little bit. You can see that the basil is starting to brown. That's okay. And I'm just going to let this cook for another seven minutes and then I'll stir it again. Now it's been another seven minutes, a total of 14. And you can see things are really starting to crisp up. So I'm going to put um, this back in the oven for about another six minutes. Now it's been 20 minutes. And you can see how nicely golden these breadcrumbs are. The pancetta has gotten nice and crispy along with that basil. So I'm just gonna let these sit on the baking sheet and cool until it's time to serve the soup. Now after 45 minutes, you can see the bread has really nicely dissolved into the soup. It gives it a really great texture. Now here's how we go about serving this Tuscan bread soup. I'm just gonna ladle some of this right into a large bowl. And then I'm gonna top it with some of these great croutons. Now make sure you get some of the pancetta and some of that toasted basil. And then just top it with a sprinkling of shaved Parmesan cheese. Now, if you'd like to give this Tuscan bread soup a try at home, just go to our website and visit the Soups On show notes, and I'll have the recipe there for you. And as always, if you have any questions, send me an email. I'll see you next time.